Starting animating without a proper plan is like building a house without putting the foundations in. In this episode, we talk about the best practices to get you started. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to TipTut and welcome to Intro to Adobe Animate 2021. This series will break down step by step how to make an animation in Adobe Animate. At the end of this series you'll have your own animation complete and be equipped to handle all the basic aspects, tools and features of Adobe Animate. I recommend you have a drawing tablet to follow along with this series and I've recommended a few good beginner options in the description. Without any further ado, let's get right to it. Part 0. Planning and Generating Ideas this is called part zero because it takes place before you even open up Adobe Animate. Sure, you could just boot up the software, jump right in and have a scribble. But honestly, you'll lose focus, you'll get stuck and you'll quit. I see this happen all the time. The solution, have a plan. Step one is deciding what you want to animate and in what style. Usually I've got a few ideas bouncing around my head. If you don't, try to generate some by using things like personal anecdotes that made you laugh. Maybe you saw an interesting character on the street and you wondered what their life was like. Maybe your pet did something silly and you want to make an animated version of it. If you're struggling to come up with an idea, you could start with an idea generator, such as this one by Bardot Brush, to spark your imagination. Once I come up with an idea, I'd like to decide what style would suit it best visually. To do this, I like to use a tool called PureRef, which is a very simple mood boarding and reference tool, but you can use whatever you like. You can drag images and clipboard content onto a simple background to collect your ideas. Start by going to your favourite animation site and start collecting images of things that inspire you. I use my Instagram feed, Newgrounds, YouTube and Giphy. Usually something will inspire me because I like its colour or its line work. Maybe it has a good story or visual style. For now, I'm just dumping ideas of things that I think are cool into a big repository in PureRef. Now, let's move on to making a storyboard. Usually, I sketch digitally on my iPad, but just to prove to you that this isn't necessary, I've done my sketching this time on paper. Let's draw my idea of a character bouncing uncontrollably along a path with shocked passers-by in the background. When sketching your storyboard, try to think of it like a comic strip. Comics are really great at telling the whole story in the least amount of frames possible. This will ensure that you get your point across in a dynamic and interesting way. Sometimes, if I think I'll have trouble drawing something specifically, I'll sketch it out by itself too, outside of the storyboard. Usually this is for things like characters or complex items that need to be seen from many different angles. I like to take it one step further and ink or colour my storyboards just to get a sense of the finished thing, but you absolutely don't have to. Once you've got your storyboard all sketched out, you're ready to move on to the real beginning, Adobe Animate, the absolute basics. So that's it for episode zero. Make sure you're subscribed and you've rung the notification bell so that you'll be first in line when the next video is out. If you've enjoyed this and my other tutorials, please consider clicking the join button below to become a part of the Tip Tut Zone. Thank you very much everyone and I'll see you next time on Tip Tut. I'd like to say a massive thank you to my level 2 and above members. Unknown Ghosts, WN62, Anonymous, Mel M. Hoover, Maybe Sharma, Ralika M, Month336, Ian Costello, Dushant Singe and Davinci Goel. Also congratulations to Unknown Ghosts, WN62 and Anonymous for being members for 3 months. You lovely people. If you'd like to get exclusive perks such as shout outs at the end of videos, personal design feedback, discounts on merchandise and access to the Discord, then consider clicking that join button below. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks and tutorials. Thanks for watching.